Hello, my name is Miranda, and in this lesson, we'll be learning how to use a compass. The, ob the objectives of this video will be to learn the different parts of the Brunton Pocket Transit Compass, what magnetic north is, and how to adjust for magnetic declination. The Brunton Pocket Transit consists of three main parts, the box, the siding arm, and the lid. Inside the box, there are many different parts used to determine the vertical and horizontal angles. First, we have the two levels. The round level is used for horizontal angle measurements, and the long level is used for vertical angle measurements. Next, we have the graduated circle, which is used to read the azimuths, which are accurate to a degree. With the added vernier, we can increase the accuracy to the nearest minute. This is the magnetic needle. It has two ends. The end denoted with the N is the north. This is pulled to the northern hemisphere where magnetic inclination is downwards. The other end, denoted with the S, has an added weight for balance. This weight can be moved to the north end if the compass is being used in the southern hemisphere. The last piece in the box is the index or zero pin. This is used to set the magnetic declination. Before using a compass, you should understand the difference between magnetic and true north. True north is normally considered to be facing towards the North Pole, whereas magnetic north is considered to be a function of the Earth's magnetic field. This can be a difference of 20 degrees, which will add error depending on where you are in the US. Since the magnetic north constantly changes, NOAA has created a simple online calculator, calculator available that can determine historic and current magnetic declinations. This calculator can be used if you know the latitude and longitude of your site or zip code and or city and country to look up the Latin long for that location. The example we will be using in the next lesson is Cole Park in Corpus Christi, Texas, which has a zip code of 78404. Using this zip code, we obtain a latitude of 27 degrees 46 minutes and 12 seconds and a longitude of 97 degrees 24 minutes and 0 seconds. Using this calculator, it is determined that our angle of declination is 3 degrees 38 minutes plus or minus 19 minutes and can change 7 minutes west per year. Using this information, we can adjust our compass for the magnetic declination using this adjusting screw. If the declination is to the west, you turn your screw counterclockwise, and if your declination is to the east, you turn the screw clockwise. For our sample area, the magnetic declination is to the east, so we will be adjusting the compass clockwise until the index pin goes from 0 to 4 degrees rounded up, as shown in the video. The final parts of the compass left to review are the siding arm, which contain the large and peep, the large sight and peep sight, and the lid, which contains the mirror, the axial line, and the small sight. These will be used in the next video to sight the line. Thank you.